So when did you have Ireland for the first time? Well, it's actually 10 years ago when I was at the Academy of Fine Art. My professor, Beran, he mentioned about Viktor Pivovarov. And uh, I have to say that uh, his work for the first time when I saw it in the gallery, um, I wasn't very much impressed about um, his you know, techniques and, and works. But later on, I, I would say like in the, during five years, uh, 10 years, then I you know, started to think more about his message, about what he has done also in Moscow. Because that's quite interesting that we you know, weren't very uh, educated in uh, Academy of Fine Art in Prague about uh, Moscow conceptualism in the 60s, 70s. So I was quite uh, surprised, you know, when I started to, to know more about him, uh, you know, who he met and who, with whom, you know, he collaborated. So, um, and, and actually now uh, I have a big, big respect to him and uh, I think he deserves a lot of uh, attention now. And I'm very pleased, you know, to being in London and seeing his uh, sort of small, I would say, small retrospective with the drawings. So I really admire that here at this show I can see the drawings uh, from the early of 90s and the last one is like 2010, a year, two years old. So it's quite interesting to see how um, it's the concept behind the drawings. It's not just about like to have you know the corner in red or blue or mixing the colors but I see that there is a really interesting uh, movement in thinking and that's what I think it's a, a strong message from uh, Viktor Pivovarov. Despite uh, your own personal relationship with him was he a well-known figure in Prague? Were there many people who would know about him, say, outside the students at the academy? Well I, I think as I said at the beginning I mean ten years ago even more I would say that, that he, he wasn't very well known in my generation. I think that nobody almost know about him, but of course the uh, you know, older generation, they know him very well. But I mean, as I said, you know, it took us like five, ten years you know, to discover him more and more, because now I think he is doing also more exhibitions. So I mean, you know, abroad, not just in Prague. But I mean, um, yeah, I think he is discovered now, but uh, I would say that in Russia he is a much bigger name. So I think he... Um, well, it's quite difficult to me, uh, it's difficult to say for me because, you know, I came uh, out from Czech Republic from, you know, art uh, stand in, you know, 2005. So, I mean, I don't know what is going on now, very well now. So, I mean, that's why I can't answer properly, you know, how... It, he is, uh, you know, known in my generation now, but uh, but I think it's much better definitely because he he is exhibiting, you know, everywhere. As I remember that two years ago, I have seen his paintings at the Fries Art Fair in London, uh, where he was showing like two or three paintings. And I mean, you know, he was already at the Fries, and I'm sure you know many other important exhibitions. So I think it's 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 a it's a big name. Uh, would you say that the fact that he's so well known is also down to the fact that conceptual art has become better known is in fashion? Well, I think uh, conceptual art, I mean, I think why I like his drawing, because at the first it doesn't look like really conceptual, you know, if we will be talking about the installations or about the video art or some kind of, you know, so I mean there is still links to uh, the classical media and th this is what I really like because there is a bridge you know between the classical you know drawings to conceptual art so I, and, and you know he works also with the literature with the text so there is a involved you know philosophy and so I mean there is lots of questionings in, in his works and that's that's what I think is amazing and from your knowledge of Czech art, the history of Czech art, would you find any movement that could be actually compared to that conceptual art being such a vibrant movement in Russia, or in the Soviet Russia and Soviet Union in the 60s or 70s? Would, was there anything similar in the, in the Czech art going on, where the artists would be sort of comparable? Yeah, well, I mean, um, I think it's, it was quite, quite different, and I would say that uh, 
you know, for me, it's difficult to to say what, how was it like, you know, in the '60s and and you know, like uh, in in Moscow or in in Prague. Um, you know, if I will be looking to the, uh, you know, how is the art going on in in the globe, you know, in around the world. So I mean, the Russia and Moscow, it's still different. It's still, you know, they have a, their own language, and uh, and I have to say that it's quite difficult even for me, you know, to quite understand properly what's going on there, you know, because I, I for example, I never been there, you know, and uh, so. Uh, you know, on the other side, you know, being like in London or in New York, I mean, there is an art really, you know, I, I have to say very commercial. So, I mean, there's lots of galleries, but a lot of those, you know, they want to sell. Which I think in Moscow, it's quite, should be quite opposite, that the artists um, are maybe taking more risk or, you know, um, it's, it's a different uh, approach and the meaning is, is quite different as well. So, so you think the difference is in the approach? Is there in, in, the, in the nationalities. Yeah. I think it's indeed in somewhere in the nationalities, like the West culture and East culture or some sort of uh, specific you know, Russian art. Because if, if we will have a look like what you know, was uh, in the paintings in the early of 19, you know, early of 20th century, so it's, it's still also quite, quite different, you know. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I don't know. Uh, the last question: uh, Which of his art do you actually find particularly appealing, or some of his pieces, or some message that comes out of his art? What do you think is his message as an artist? It's it's like the typical of. Uh, well, I, I would say that those uh, kind of small watercolors, you know, drawings and uh, with a clear and sharp message of some ideas, you know, so I think that's, it's, it's, I mean, he is showing some, you know, um, little things, but behind it's a lot of uh, thinking and that, that's what I, I, I like very much because at the first, when you see his drawings, it looks, you know, quite simple and simply done, but then when you come back, you know, uh, you know, in, in maybe next year or you know even more, then then you you will find always something interesting. What, what, what is behind? Do you find his work with the text and image somewhat? Yeah, I think that thing? that's very important. You know, point on 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 his work. So I mean, it's um, his work. It's not just visual, you know, stuff. So I mean, there is always thinking involved. So I mean, it's uh, it's important to have this uh, always in mind. The, the texture, the text, yeah, 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 yeah. And I think uh, you know, if I will go to to Moscow in one day, and uh, you know, I will go to, to visit the galleries and see the street, or you know, what's going on there, I'm sure I will start to understand him much more. So I mean, I think it's quite important to also know what uh, you know where the artist was living, you know, and uh, so. Uh, but for me, it's interesting because you know he emigrated from Moscow to Prague in the 80s and uh, so he was talking at this lecture about that how he felt like you know very lonely at the beginning he lost friends you know and so on and uh, so I'm I was thinking that I'm quite in a similar situation you know it's a different time of course I can still go back you know it's not like I'm not in the prison so I mean I can travel you know but uh, in a way, it was quite interesting to me to listen, you know, people were off uh, with his, with all his experience about how it is, you know, being out of your country somewhere, you know, abroad, and to start again to work and um, and questioning your nationalities or, you know, it's a lot of questions after, but. Um, is it a process which is kind of enriching or is it somewhat limiting or redefining or well i mean i i i think it's it's you know interesting that that you uh when when you are taken out from your like really home you know then i think um you will start to be criticized to your country then you will love it you know and it's always like mixing and uh and then, of course, those things are taken to your own personal works. So, I mean, being like outside of your home, I, I think in in Pivovaros also works. Is in a way, you know, there is a reflection of 
his uh, Russian's life, even he is like you know somewhere else in a different country. But this is like how I feel similar, you know. So I mean, yeah, I'm being outside of my country, but still I'm every day thinking about my country, about my first language, you know. And I think this is what uh, Pivovaro has in his work as well. So I mean, if you have a look on his drawings, you know, there is a quite clear message to the home, to the friendships, to the, um, you know, landscapes. And uh, so we should ask him maybe, you know, what is the specific landscape? And I wouldn't be surprised that he would say, well, this is the Russian, you know, uh, you know, his personal country. So I mean, um, yeah, I think there is some kind of uh, what is interesting to me, as I said at the beginning, that, that I can understand him more and more now, you know, because I, I discovered more. And uh, you know him as a as a person, you know him personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as an artist, how, how would you describe him as a human being? Well, I think uh, <clears throat> as a human being, I think he he is a very close person. I would say he he is not very open like to. Uh, I, I, as I see him, I don't think that he would be happy to talk publicly about you know his ideas or. So um, he is very careful about you know to meeting people, and he he really cares about people like uh, with uh, who he wants to spend time as well. He's not open to everyone. Okay.